This is my original voice. And this is not, and it's cloned by Chatterbox, an insanely good half a billion parameter model. This new model comes from a company called Resemble AI. And the reason that they call it production grade is because you can literally take this model and then start something like 11 labs. And this is licensed under MIT. I do not know how they did it because for them to do this, they should have resourced the voice samples themselves. They couldn't have used anything else like a copyright material, but it's still quite a brilliant bench. Uh, like I can't like believe that this model is open source and it is just half a billion parameter model and it works extremely well, not just for text to speech, but also for voice clone for voices that are not just native English, but still it does a pretty good job and you can start using it for content creation. Let me show you another sample of this particular model with a different popular American voice. Oh boy, this unlittle coder is quite a genius and I can't believe he's still struggling on YouTube. Can someone, someone give, give him a, a job, job soon, Demis Hassabis, will ya? So this gap that you saw in the middle, it could have happened due to two reasons. One, there is a parameter called exaggeration. So as you increase the value above 0.5, it can have like instability. And also uh, text to speech models are highly uh, prone to changes like uh, punctuations and other symbols that we add. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just play with this pace and then see how the model performs so you understand how the model sounds different with the different aspects. But before I do that, I want to just play uh, the source clip a little bit so you understand the source and the cloned voice and how similar it is if you're a native English speaker. In 1964, I was a little girl sitting on... Okay, so this is the original voice and we just heard cloned voice. I'm going to change the pace, okay? I'm going to just get the pace way, way down. This is CFG, which is a very popular parameter. This is used uh, for a classifier free guidance. That's what CFG stands for. And we are going to play this. Oh boy, this one little coder is quite a genius. And I can't believe he's still struggling on YouTube. Can someone give him a job soon? Demis Hassabis, will ya? You saw the emphasis there. Like it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's almost like how a native English speaker would speak. So I'm going to just increase it to the extreme right now. And um, this is currently running on zero, which is uh, like a shared compute that Hugging Face has got. But the later part of the demo, I'm going to show you this same interface, but running on T4. So you know how much time it would take if you run it on Google Collab or any other machine that you can easily find on internet. Oh boy, this one little coder is quite a genius and I can't believe he's still struggling on YouTube. Can someone give him a job soon? Demis Hassabis, will ya? So previously we had a 12 second clip now we move to eight second clip. This, despite like changing the space, we did not have any disturbance in the actual output that we got. This is despite our original clip having like few pauses and noise. Like for example, if you see the original clip here. 64, I was a little girl sitting. And as you can see there, there, there has been like pause. There has been like, you know, a, a little bit of background noise. And it has done a pretty good job of capturing the voice of the voice actor in this particular case, Oprah, not a voice actor, obviously, and then converting into a good text to speech. So I just gave the text and then it gave me speech. And you can also play with this parameter, which is uh, to play with emotion. So I'm going to just make it like extremely exaggerating model and I'm going to keep the pace high and then we're going to see what it is going to do. So nine seconds it is taking. Oh boy, this one little coder is quite a genius and I can't believe he's still struggling on YouTube. Can someone give him a job soon? Demis has some his will ya? This is almost taking the same person and then just saying like, you know, go honkers, like go as aggressive as possible, exaggerate as much as possible and this did a pretty good job. So now in terms of the model's uh, architecture in itself, so this model is probably definitely, you know, it's, it's a really, really good model. And this model comes with a 0.5 billion, 500 million parameter Llama backbone. And it has got uh, the unique ability for you to control the exaggeration or intensity, not very common with the text to speech models. And they have trained this on 500 million hours of cleaned data, which I think they must have sourced themselves. One thing is they've also watermarked the outputs. I don't know how that has worked, but they've watermarked the outputs like in case if you want to trace it back if it is AI generated so that, you know, there is no legal issues. 
and then finally they claim that this outperforms 11 labs podonos which is uh, used to compare two voice models and as you can see here you have uh, 31 respondents prefer this model than uh, you know uh, like a strong preference of 11 labs so this is an extremely strong indicator that this is a very good model not just for voice cloning and you can use it for tts as well now you can also test this model without any voice cloning so you don't have to upload a voice reference to use this model you can just simply use it using the existing inbuilt voice so i'm going to just remove the voice cloning here and then keep the same text and now as you can see here we have got exaggeration at the top end and we have got pace at the top end so that means this is going to be faster and it is also going to have like extreme exaggeration Wait, this one little coder is quite a genius and i can't believe he's still struggling on youtube can someone give him a job soon timmy has to be with ya yeah <laughs> that's quite funny so I'm going to get it back uh, like somewhere around like 0.75 and I'm going to slow down the pace extremely and then generate the same thing. And uh, this uh, text, I wanted to keep it same so that, you know, you have like an understanding of how it goes. Um, so let's see how it's. Oh boy, this one little coder is quite a genius and I can't believe he's still struggling on YouTube. Can someone give him a job soon? Demis Hasabis, will ya? I love this model. I love this model so much that I want to probably try playing with this continuously. But if you feel that you want a tutorial where you can run this model on Google Collab or locally, please let me know in the comment section. I'll make it. But until then, you can just go ahead and then use it on Hugging Face. I'll, I'll link the model link and also the demo links in the YouTube description. If you like this video, give a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy prompting.